Hi. Now, in this question, we're told that f of x equals 7 cos 2x minus 24 sine 2x. And we're given that f of x equals r cos of all of 2x plus alpha, where r is greater than 0 and alpha is an angle which is greater than 0 degrees but less than 90 degrees. And we've got to find the value of r and the value of alpha. So if you haven't given this question a go at the moment, just pause the video and give it a try. And you can come back and check out your work solution with mine. OK, welcome back if you had a go. Let's just see how you got on. Now when we get expressions like this, they're of a particular format. And we classify that format like so. OK, this is something that you should be familiar with. The format that we've got here is essentially this bottom one here, something of the form a cos theta minus b sine theta is identical to r cos of theta plus alpha. And that's what they're saying here, that it's got to be in this format. And it can be shown that r, if this is the case, is always equal to the square root of your coefficients a and b, a squared plus b squared, the root of it. And alpha is always the inverse tan of b over a. So if you want proofs of these, you can always check it out on my website, OK? So I'm assuming that you're familiar with any of these identities. So we pick up on this last one here. So if I was answering this question, I'd put down what we're given. We're given that f of x is equal to 7 cos 2x then minus 24 sine 2x. And when I compare this to this bottom line here, you can see that this is identical then to a cos theta minus b sine theta. And we can see that where a is the 7, a equals 7, the value for b, it's not minus 24. Don't make that mistake. It's just the 24 here because the minuses match up with one another. So b is equal to 24. And we also see that theta compares with the 2x. So theta equals 2x. So on that basis, we now know that therefore r is going to be equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared, as we've got here. So that's 7 squared plus 24 squared. And if you work that out, that ends up being the square root of 625, which is 25. We don't do plus or minus with questions like this, OK? We always just take the positive value. And when it comes to working out what alpha is, OK, let's just come down here. Alpha equals the inverse tan of b over a. So in other words, the inverse tan of 24 over 7. We're working in degrees for this, so make sure your calculator is in degrees mode. And if you do that, you'll find you get 73.739 and so on. Which, if we give, say, two, three significant figures, that's going to be 73.7 degrees to three significant figures. 3SF for short. OK, so do check out that you're familiar with these identities, OK? And uh, as I say, if you need proof of any of these, you can always check them out on my website. 